Top 20 Data Migration Interview Questions and Answers Data migration involves the preparation, selection, and transformation of data from one source, generally a computer, to the other. This article will look at some of the questions you will probably be asked in a data migration interview. Take a look at the following, 1. Why are you interested in this field? Your reasons will tell if you will be a perfect candidate for the position you are interviewing for. Avoid giving monetary or material reasons that will make you look materialistic and cost you the job, sample answer, I love computers and everything related to them, I have always been fascinated by how they work and store data, this passion and interest pushed me to pursue data migration, which I find highly fulfilling, this job gives me a chance to work with things that I am genuinely interested in, too. Mention some of the qualities that you have in relation to this field, the interviewer wants to know if you are qualified in the field in which you are being assessed. Can you mention any qualities you possess that make you a good choice for the job for which you interview? This is a chance to sell yourself. However, remember to prepare for any follow-up question that you are likely to be asked, sample answer, I have several technical skills that are required to succeed in this job. I have undergone intensive training on computer storage and information systems and therefore understand this job inside out. I am focused and attentive to details. Qualities that are required to succeed in this job. I also believe that my fast learning ability also makes me a good choice for this position. 3. What do you understand by data migration? Data migration is one of the simplest questions that you can be asked in a data migration interview. The interviewer wants you to tell them what this field is all about, you don't even have to think hard for an answer since you know what your area entails, sample answer. Data migration includes the processes involved in moving data from one location to another or a format to the other, it may also involve an application to another, it is important for firms that need to transform or optimize by shifting from on-premises infrastructure to cloud-based storage and applications. 4. Can you tell us about the steps in data migration? This is a technical question that will tell the interviewer just how good you are at this job. Do you know what it takes to move data from one place or format to the other? Make sure that you get such questions right if you intend to secure a position in the interviewing firm. Sample answer. There are six critical processes involved in data migration that every professional should know. First, one needs to explore and assess the data before defining and designing the migration. The third step is to build a migration solution to ensure that you get it right. A live test should then be conducted, followed by a final test. The last step is auditing, which provides the accuracy of migration. 5. Do you think that data migration is important? Such questions are often asked to establish how you feel about your job or the field in which you are working. Do you think that whatever you are doing is important? you should talk highly about your job to convince the interviewer that you love whatever you are doing. Remember, your answer has to be positive. Sample answer, I believe that data migration is essential, mainly because it comes in handy when upgrading and consolidating server and storage hardware. It is also important when adding data-intensive applications such as data lakes, warehouses, and databases. It is also necessary for large-scale visualization projects. Six. What is the importance of data migration tools? You should expect such questions in a data migration interview since they help the interviewer know if you understand the basics of this field, you have definitely used a number of data migration tools in your career. Tell the interviewer their role and how they will help you once you land this job. Sample answer, data migration tools are essential in moving data from a storage system to the other. They help in the selection, preparation, extraction, and transformation of data to ensure that it is compatible with the new storage location. I have used quite a number in my career and therefore understand how they work. 7. What advice would you give someone when embarking on a data migration initiative? The interviewer wants to know if you understand a few data migration best practices. Remember, your answer will convince the hiring manager of your prowess in this field. Show the interviewer that you are experienced in this field and perform if given a chance to. Sample answer, I know quite a number of data migration best practices that anyone should adhere to. First, one must strive to determine the project scope and ensure that the migration plan is in accordance with the existing policies. 
Other practices include establishing a migration time frame, validating and testing after migration, auditing and testing every step. 8. How do you normally approach data migration? The interviewer wants to know your way of doing things. This is closely linked to the previous question. Try to be as creative as possible and convince the interviewer that you know how to go about this job. You can also include a few data migration best practices in your answer. All in all, ensure that you come off as experienced. Sample answer, I am always keen when migrating data. I usually back up all the data, verify its complexity and quality and agree on the standards. I also specify future and current business rules, communicate my data migration process, use the right tools, have a risk management strategy in place, and define the future and current rules of the business. I have discovered that these are some of the best practices any data migration specialist can adhere to. 9. What do you understand by snapshots in data migration? This technical question will help the interviewer know if you understand the different terms and aspects of data migration systems. Get ready for lots of operational or technical questions in your interviews. Also, remember to review a glossary of terms used in data migration, sample answer, snapshots are stored in a master table. They are copies of read-only data stored remotely. They are mainly used to remotely maintain a copy of the master table to enhance quick access or replication where necessary. It is also accurate to say that they are a backup to the master table that improves faster access. 10. Could you mention some of the standard formats in the data migration system? This is yet another technical question that will help the interviewer know how good you are at this job. All the hiring manager wants is a definition or brief explanation of the topic they have asked you about. Ensure that your answer is direct and concise. Also, prepare for any follow-up questions. Sample answer. There are several standard formats in data migration systems. Data migration specialists commonly work with dimensional data models, flat files, normalized entity schemas, and XML datasets. This is partly because most data can work with a variety of data formats. 11. What do you understand by partitioning in data migration? The interviewer wants you to discuss partitioning in data migration and, if possible, mention the types of partitions and how they benefit data migration. This is a general question about sections, and therefore treat it as such. Exhaust the question and offer all the information the interviewer wants to know. Sample answer. Partitioning refers to the subdivision of transactions. It is a widespread practice in data migration. The two most popular types of partitioning are harsh partitions and round robin. They improve the performance of the entire process of data migration. 12. Can you tell us the most popular data migration tools available for database administrators? The interviewer wants to know the tools you are familiar with and whether your choice of tools are the ones they are currently using. Also, Keep in mind that the interviewer may want to know if you can bring additional devices to the organization. Do your research well and ensure that you are familiar with what the entity uses. Sample answer, there are several data migration tools available for data experts. I prefer using the Oracle Warehouse Builder as I find it popular and helpful. Other standard data migration tools are IBM InfoSphere Information Server, SAS Data Management, and SAP Data Services. All the tools I have mentioned serve my needs and help me integrate well with all the systems I use. 13. How would you advise someone to test data for migration? The interviewer wants to know if you understand some of the basic concepts of this field. When answering this question, you can mention some of the techniques you use or processes you subject your data to. Remember to be as detailed as possible and convince the interviewer that you are experienced in data migration. Remember to draft your answer in a way that sells you. Sample answer, I typically subject data to a number of steps. First, I define the scope then study the requirements, business rules, and mapping documents. I then check the dependencies and interactions before creating test cases and queries to help me verify the data. Other processes include comparing results, non-functional testing, and conducting a functional application test. 14. Do you know the techniques used on data migration? This is also another technical question that you should be aware of. Remember, such questions give you a chance to convince the interviewer that you understand what this job is all about and will deliver if given an opportunity. 
All you need to ensure is that you offer the correct answer, sample answer. The main technique for data migration is extracting, load, and transforming, popularly known as ETL among data scientists and specialists. There are ETL tools that can manage all the complex requirements in the data migration process. They help process big data sets, integrate between several platforms, and conduct in-data profiling. 15. Can you tell us what data migration in ERP means? The interviewer wants to know about your expertise in data migration and understanding of ERP systems. This is where you should apply your experience and knowledge in this field. Make sure that your answer is concise, given that this is a technical question. It would be best if you also offered the correct answer since technical questions have specific answers, unlike general interview questions. Sample answer. The process involves moving data from several systems, storage types, and formats to a single, standard structure. It is more of a traditional data migration process, but involves ERP systems. 16. How do you ensure accuracy in your work? The interviewer wants to know how you ensure that your work is up to the required standards. This is a chance to tell them how you go through your projects and eliminate errors. You have to convince the hiring manager that you value good work and do everything possible to ensure accuracy. Sample answer. I usually ensure that my work is accurate. I believe in giving my all to my projects and providing that everything is up to the required standards. I typically back up my data before starting the migration process to avoid losing everything. I also focus on the task at hand and limit all distractions. All these help me maintain high levels of accuracy. 17. What are your greatest strengths? This question is normally asked in almost all interviews. The interviewer wants to know some of your outstanding qualities and gauge whether you will be an excellent addition to the workplace if given a chance. Reread the job description, find out what the hiring manager wants, and link it to your qualities. Sample answer. I believe that my greatest strength is my ability to multitask. Thanks to my multitasking ability, I can't remember the last time I didn't finish a project before its deadline. I can work on different projects simultaneously, which helps me beat deadlines and manage work. I am also a focused individual who believes in getting things done. I don't take my job for granted. 18. What is your biggest weakness? The interviewer wants to know if you understand some of your shortcomings. Even though most people don't like showing their weaknesses, admitting them shows that you are confident and have high self-esteem. Therefore, do not shy away from telling the interviewer some of your shortcomings. Sample answer, I believe that my biggest weakness is my quest for perfection. I usually envision things in my mind and strive twice as hard to ensure that they turn out how I thought about them. I have been convincing myself that things don't have to come out as I envision them and that I should be easy on myself. 19. What is your greatest achievement? The interviewer is giving you a chance to tell them about some of your most significant highlights. Tell the interviewer about an experience that you are proud of and willing to reminisce about every day. If possible, mention about an experience in your professional life. However, you are not limited, and there's no specific answer. Don't also mention a material reason. Sample answer, my most outstanding achievement was seeing a startup company that I worked for win the best startup for the year. I was the only data specialist in a team of four individuals. After our award, we managed to win over lots of clients, which saw us make lots of profits and improve our employee base. I always think about this experience all the time. I also believe that it has given me the confidence that I need to go about my duties. 20. What are your salary expectations? How much are you willing to charge for your expertise? This is a chance to tell the interviewer how much you want to get paid. We advise you to quote a reasonable amount or lose your chance of working at the particular institution, if possible. Mention an amount that is slightly higher than your previous salary. Sample answer. I used to earn $120,000 a year in my former job. However, since I am upgrading and will be exposed to several challenges L, I believe that $150,000 a year will be okay for my experience and skill set. I am also open to any salary negotiations that you may have. Conclusion These recommendations sum up some of the most common questions in data migration interviews. We wish you all the best and hope that you will get a chance to prove yourself.